Um, okay, let's be blunt. Okay. Okay. If you say, why are we spending money up there and not down here where we have the problems? When the asteroid comes, you're going to wish we had spent money up there mm -hmm. to know how to deflect the asteroid. And so we see this. I know the asteroids. I see where they are. I know how many they are. No, we got to solve these problems here on Earth. No, we got to solve these problems here on Earth. No, we got to solve these problems here on Earth. No, we got to solve these problems here on Earth. No, we got to solve these problems here on Earth. So I'm a fan of what Mark Twain says. First, get your facts straight. Then distort them at your leisure. 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 Aloha. Uh, today with this video, I just wanted to speak in reference to some things that have been going on in reference to Neil deGrasse Tyson and Bill Nye and really just kind of expand the flat earth storyline around um, the design of these defenders of the synthetic universe mainly the biggest ones bill nye and neil degrasse tyson and really just get give a um an example of what kind of world or what kind of universe these individuals are trying to create or expand upon or set the foundation on we can see the death and destruction that has led up to this so-called western civilization that's not civil at all it's a it's a genocidal and maniacal program that feasts off the blood and the bones of the aboriginal and the indigenous people everybody at this at this point but when you trace the history back this program started to catch its momentum at the expense of the indigenous and the aboriginal people. And that story is still going on today. So people who have difficulty with seeing that realize that that's where I'm coming from. And because that's where I'm coming from, that's not to negate the fact that pretty much everybody is also being persecuted today. The problem is if we only focus on that storyline that is actually on that oh well everybody is just being persecuted today story if we only focus on that storyline that's exactly what these so-called powers that be are setting up in the chess game to install this new world order slash new age order agenda to, to say, oh, we're all going to unify, there's no this, there's no that, everybody's just one race, there's no, it's to water everything down. So as long as you're, you're bought into the half version of the storyline, then you can buy whatever the, the pill pushers have been selling you. And like that quote said in the beginning of this video from Neil deGrasse Tyson, um, get your facts first, then you can distort them as you please. That's exactly what this heliocentric program has done. That's exactly what the colonial program has done. When they burn these books, when they destroy and, and, and massacre and all of these actual civilizations that were thriving thousands of years before uh, the colonial program even set sail. They're actually pirates, pirates going around spreading disease and pir parasitic pirates going around. And this is this system that we are experiencing today is the extension of this. The why I'm set, um, sharing these videos in particular is to give an example of what the what these individuals and what the system as a whole is really trying to do separate you from nature cause internal and external chaos psychological physical and spiritual mind control by installing a program that is literally inhumane to on one level on every other level it creates this chaotic energy that is based upon limiting your perspective to some of the most 
garbage, general, and just ridiculous versions of your reality that you can't even, that, that, that children, that's what it really is boiling down to. This is why Bill Nye is on Netflix now. He's he's like the, the linchpin in between the kids that were back in the day that grew up on Bill Nye, the Science Guy show, Carmen Sandiego, that same time frame. So those kids who grew up now are largely still children because there's the, the majority had real no no real foundation of growth all everybody there's been generations upon generations who have been locked into the mind control po- program of the pu- public education system and mainstream religion so there really is no kind of like ancestral <clears throat> excuse me ancestral guidance or wisdom we have generation upon generation of mind control where wisdom has been kicked to the curb and since those generations upon generations have been uh, building on upon themselves now the system of control is attempting to kick it up another notch and install the next program of separation but first they have to separate you from what is natural they have to separate you from nature, separate you from humanity. And like um, Neil deGrasse Tyson using Mark Twain's quote, get your facts first, then you can distort them as you please. Out of all the Mark Twain quotes out there, that's the one he chooses. That that dead ass like. You can see that these people are laughing in the faces of the masses when they're out there doing this stuff because they're they're really doing this right in your face. This guy is making he's doing all these shows talking about how flat earth is this, flat earth is that. Bill Nye's got his own show talking about Bill Nye saves the world. And he saves he's supposedly saving the world by creating this this ridiculous version. You can read these comments of that go on this video that um, he's talking about sex junk. That's what that's that's really what I want to boil this this video down to. The the sacredness, the the divine nature of your existence is is so deep and so complex that um, it can't be controlled if you were to go into the depths of what it really is. If you're really to activate you yourself from the inside out from the soul to the mind to the body instead of from the body to an artificial version of the body to some transhumanism simulation alien agenda theory reality that's really just based upon locking down your control grid this is or locking down the control grid around you and future generations this program is literally about sucking your consciousness out of your body and installing a synthetic version of reality. These parasites like Neil deGrasse Tyson, Joe Rogan, Ray Kurzweil, Brian Cox, Bill Nye, Michio Kaku, all these people who are out there, whether they know they are parasites or not, They are parasites who are defending a program that is living off of the blood, no no different than a tick sucking the life out of a body and installing a Lyme disease and eventually a Lyme paralysis. Like I said in a previous video, paralyzing your soul, installing a Lyme disease into your psyche and living off of your body by sucking your blood, by installing all of this this work-based mentality that is based upon this upside-down version of democracy and this ridiculous ism of they call capitalism. That all of this is is in is sitting on top, like I said before, sitting on top of the separation from nature, separation from the aboriginals and the indigenous interpretation of this reality, which is why they have to be labeled as primitive and savage. This program is designed to really suck the life out of you. And when Bill Nye puts this show on here talking about, you know, sex junk, and that's really what they think of you. 
your mind, your psyche is no more than a piece of fatty tissue called your brain. You have no soul. Bill Nye actually has said that there is no soul. It's just fatty tissue in the brain. And he bases that upon you uh, observing a person getting old and losing their memory. See, this is how basic this reality is. It's based upon de-evolving humanity. And I was walking around the other day and thinking to myself, like, man, what what's like really going on here? How how far is this program trying to go? And it'll only go as far as we allow it. And then I thought to myself, like, man, like, one thing I said was that <clears throat> these people, like people, not even Bill Nye and Neil deGrasse Tyson, but pretty much everybody is is doing the best that they can based upon what it is that they can do. Like people can't really do any better than what it is that they're doing because if they could, then they would. So even if they can do better, they they can't really do better because it and, and this goes for even like the people who are who are designed to do that that nonsense, whatever they're like Neil deGrasse Tyson that and Bill Nye that is literally the best he can do. That's the best person he can be. Joe Rogan and um, all those other people who are out there that sleazy ass parasitic mentality that's the best they can do because if they are aware which bill nye and neil degrasse tyson are aware of this program if they could do better which is stepping outside of that parasitic design then they would then but they're not so that sleazy ass mentality is literally the best that they can do based upon who and what they are at their essence in this moment right now. And their essence will continually grow through experience, through time. This is where people, you know, even in regular everyday kind of like going through your life, um, the best I could do out of high school was join the army and you know, do that. And then I realized, okay, well, this is garbage. Got out. Best I could do was, you know, go to college. And then, all right, well, this is slow and ridiculous. And um, out of all the benefits that are that are going there, that that's why I said this is the best you can do. It's just through your experience. Then after that, going back in the army and then getting out again. And then that that those were all the best that I could do with the level of consciousness that I was. It's not saying it's the best ever. It's just whatever it is that you're doing. So these individuals like Bill Nye and Neil deGrasse Tyson, if they are willingly engaging in this parasitic program, then they are literally parasites and they will max out at the parasitic program. And that parasitic program is attempting to install that parasitic consciousness into the collective consciousness of the masses, which is the lack of humanity program. So they have to take away your humanity. They have to confuse all the sexual. They have to over sexualize with all this, uh, the porn industry, the sexualizing of Hollywood, your music industry. Um, the demon uh, the the beating down of the divine feminine uh, all of this is to hypersexualize your reality which is not so much based on hypersexualizing your reality but hyper materializing your reality because your material body is what makes up your physical reality. So when you are hypersexualized, you are hypermaterialized. And when you're hypermaterialized, you are anti um <laughs> anti higher mind. You're anti um soul and anti spiritual progression. You are you're you're locked into this materialistic version of reality 
which is what the scientism community makes their money off of. This is why everything is based on hard science and NASA shooting their their uh, penises into the into the sky and making it look like they're penetrating the 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 the, the sky goddess and, and you know everything else that's going on from the patriarchal program this system is based upon literally cutting the the humanity in half and installing an over hypersexualized masculine version of reality at the expense of the feminine which is the earth which is why we all of us are birthed from earth which is why nature is being destroyed and everybody's just like well, at least I got my my smartphone and everything, and that's okay. What don't you want a smartphone? Well, okay, then don't say anything about the African slave labor, children slave labor that's going on. Don't you like your clothes that you have? Well, don't say anything about the Chinese slave labor that's going on. Like that's how far from reality it and. You have mouthpieces like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Bill Nye out there spending the bulk of their time. He's, Bill Nye is talking about saving the world. They're saving their artificial world, their parasitic world. They're not, that's why they're not saying anything about the, the, the African slave labor. They're not saying anything about the indigenous and the aboriginal people because they don't give a shit about the natural world. They only care about the synthetic world. The world where they can be remain gods and kings. They, as in them specifically, Bill Nye and Neil deGrasse Tyson, and the politics, everybody else. Bill Nye goes on, Bill Nye and Neil deGrasse Tyson goes on the Bill Maher show. All the politicians go on the Bill Maher show. All the Bill Nye and the politicians all go on these late night talk shows. All Bill Nye and Neil deGrasse Tyson all go on these, these, um, TV shows like The Big Bang Theory, all of these programs play themselves, play with that that whole design against the consciousness of everybody in order to get locked into their version of reality. And the outcome is either you get, so people who are, catching that this is full of shit then they're gonna say well i don't want to be a part of that like you were seeing in in these uh comments that were left on bill nye's sex junk video uh i don't want to be a part of that that's clearly something's wrong with this society um so now uh i'm going back to the church or now i'm going to find um some kind of uh, Jesus program or I'm going to uh, go into the new age program or something whatever so all of these they like throw you they throw the consciousness up against the wall and it splatters all over the place and the splash guard are like mainstream religions and uh, conspiracy theories and the new age programming these are the these are the catch guards for all of the people who are leaving outside of this imploding mainstream news and mainstream television show consciousness. And technology is like the core that keeps all of it together because everybody is addicted to their smartphone. Everybody is addicted to the internet in some fashion and addicted to this artificial version of humanity. So this is how this is this is how the chess game is played up. Meanwhile, you're going through life one thing at a time, one checker move at a time. Oh, well, I don't like this. I think it's time for me to go back to church. Or well, I don't like this. I think it's time for me to do this. Oh, what is this? Oh, the new age? Oh, great. And then whenever they're ready to activate their next version of mind control, then it will include the mainstream religion. It will include everything that is in the splash guard, which is the mainstream religion, the new age and um, technology and everything else that I was saying, everything else that they're promoting uh, that is still catching a lot of people. 
and then they'll just sell in that next program based upon a new a new style of interacting with reality whether or not they co-opt a flat earth model uh, and and sell it from a simulation theory perspective and sell in the transhumanism program from that perspective I don't know that's how I'm seeing what is going on right now with the references of CERN, CERN being a big program out there, uh, the implosion of NASA, the implosion of the mainstream news, the leaking of flat earth information with um, Joe Rogan making fun of it, and Neil deGrasse Tyson making fun of it, Bill Nye making fun of it, all of them are referencing it in some kind of way. That that snowball is not going to stop. It's just going to keep getting bigger. And every time that they reference it, they actually make it bigger. So they're referencing it in order to control the movement of it. Each time they say something about it, yes, they are inflaming the research of it. At the same time, people are also believing them and being like, well, you know, He's right. You know, those flat earthers are just crazy. So they're playing this chess game. Meanwhile, the splash guard is catching everybody and it's setting everybody up right for the next the next power move. Uh, and since we have no wisdom, we have no connections with the ancestors. We have no uh, no formal uh, root structure that we've been uprooted for generations upon generations that the system just can just do with individuals however whatever they want to do with them and and continue to program them like that ridiculous quote that Neil deGrasse said when Mark Twain said all these other quotes re, re, relating to you know the the power of the newspapers and believing this and believing excuse me believing that and not trusting you know the system so, yeah, this program is really all over the place. And like I said earlier um, and in another video, it's you can't really you're not going to force anybody to look outside of themselves. Everybody's going to be able to see and hear with their own eyes and ears at whatever wherever they are in that moment. So the only thing that you can really do is make information available for people, make information and, and make yourself available for them if they are willing to um, ask questions or, or be in your presence in reference to this information. And if it starts to become like a leeching effect or some some kind of a attacks on you then you have to protect yourself and say you know what i'm stepping away from this so it's it's literally like a balance between engagement and non-engagement but ultimately with a detached sort of uh, energy around the entire experience because you know at the base of this entire reality that the individual and the collective as a whole will address and start to um, research this information and understand, understand and overstand this information all in their own time, in their own way. There's no right way to do, do this information. Just look at the, how, how different each um, person in the so-called flat earth community is in their approach. You have people from every facet of this perspective, from religious perspectives, conspiracy perspectives, um, ancestral perspectives, spiritual, psychological. Uh, you have all of these various outlets that have that are speaking in reference to pretty much one storyline in their own way. So each individual is going to do that same thing. They're going to have to figure out whatever it is in their own way. And it's that that clock is different. That time is different. And how I see it when I step out of it completely well, as completely as possible and realize that that the level of consciousness or the engagement of consciousness it through the individual is a reflection through the collective and that actually affects time and how we experience time now i said in previous videos time flies when you're having fun and time goes real slow when you're at the like last 15 minutes of your work day you know on 
on a Friday or something like that. So it's really based upon your the experience er. So this is why I, I um focus so much on the experience er and and it also helps people to detach from any kind of force um force forcible type tendencies on anybody else or or any kind of attachments to anybody else and you know listening or doing whatever it is that they're doing um in reference to like the the heliocentric model and and the flat earth model and then debates and stuff like that it's it's a it's a case by case basis and if the people are approaching this with literally an open mind then they'll be open to it if they're if not then they're gonna fight it defend it make fun of whatever it is that you're doing try to bring you down get into an emotional body play the victim whatever it is that they're gonna do to discredit the entire uh, interaction in order to add some kind of credibility to what it is that their their belief systems are based upon so before any of this stuff happens, people have to break through their belief systems. Actually, first, acknowledge their belief systems because the heliocentric model is not even acknowledged as a belief system because people understand it as truth. So first of all, people have to realize that um, you are engaging in a belief system and that belief system has been handed down to you by mind controllers like the NASA pushers, uh, the astronauts, the, the um, scientism pushers like Bill Nye, Neil deGrasse Tyson, the politicians, the colonial program, the Colombian era mentality of this extension of this Darwinian evolution program. So it's, it's, it's a it's a mind control program built upon a mind control program built upon a mind control program. And the only way that somebody, like you can't change anybody, the individual themselves has to be willing to change and realize that something has to change. So that's the acknowledgement of the belief systems, first and foremost. Then move into um, removing, like pinpointing these belief systems and what those belief systems are connected to. Removing those belief systems and looking into a deeper truth of your reality and that can take an entire lifetime and we can't really get hung up on that that's that that's the bridge in between belief systems and going into truth that's the bridge that the gatekeepers of this heliocentric model that's what they want to get people in in order to sell people a new version of reality, a new artificial reality. So right now, the system is based upon destroying everything that is synthetic and installing a new synthetic program. This is why CERN has kicked up a few notches. This is why transhumanism is kicked up, simulation theory, and all of these other quantum physics and all this other stuff, all these other perspectives of your reality have kicked up at the same time that this system is imploding. This is not a coincidence. The old Colombian system is, is dying. It's pretty much dead. It's in its death throes right now. So that old Colombian system is trying to jumpstart a new... Christopher Columbus mentality, which is to um, colonize your psyche and your higher mind, colonize your your soul, your connections beyond. So they have to install something more materialistic, like I was saying earlier in this video, like transhumanism, putting a computer into your body. Or it's already on your body. It's already taking away from your organic interaction with this reality. We don't even know what the maximum capability of the human experience is because we've been so locked into this technical version of reality. So this system is based upon right now in this moment. It's imploding the old system quietly. So there's a quiet war um, being waged against the flat earth community with 
um, Joe Rogan and Neil deGrasse Tyson and Bill Nye, when they do all these little videos here and there talking about, oh, ha, 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 flat earths, they're just so crazy with their, ha, 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 all that stuff. That's the only response they have. They have no actual information. They have no actual um, proof of anything. They just have this, ha, 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 mentality that people buy into because they've been buying into that nonsense for decades centuries so and people won't challenge that because the fear is so thick so this is how many walls i'm just expanding upon how many walls the individual not even talking about the collective the individual has to barrel through in order to even be uh, even entertain the idea of the earth not being a globe to even entertain that so many people have so many belief structures and um, density programs that are installed into their world into their psyche that it can take years for that to happen look how long it took for most flat earthers to process this information a number of months into years um, so that's different for everybody and the more people the deeper people are locked into that materialistic version of reality the harder it's going to be to get out of it so excuse me that's really what i wanted to share with this video i just wanted to give some examples of how um, this program is expanding how this program is attempting to um, shift gears and control the the movement of individuals and the collective through this playing the checker game and the chess game for your soul your mind and your body and really just kind of throwing people around with this nonsense like that bill nye video talking about my sex junk is so oh 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 like what the the hell's going on here like this is how this is how ridiculous this program is but you know that's that's the reality for people and there's some people that don't even see that like when i when i tell friends some friends about you know how deep this program goes it's just like what are you talking about like that's i get no response or it's kind of like um it's mostly because you know that that program is so so thick into people's realities um and really like this is like revealing this information is this is mostly for the kids this is like for future generations adults right now this is why i said it's, it's harder for adults to get this information because they have so much density they have so many like degrees or uh, belief systems or whatever it is sitting on top of their um their con their actual heartfelt convictions their discernment there's like tons and tons of weight sitting on top of uh, people's ability to discern their reality and that weight is based upon these artificial constructs that are um, built around this control grid so um yeah like i said it's going to be different for each individual uh, people are going to be able to receive this information a lot more uh, fluidly if the individual who is sharing the information has no real attachments to it it's just like you know what this information exists for what it is it's out there uh take it or leave it now call me crazy do whatever it is that you're gonna do but you know this is how it is this is a completely different uh outlook or approach than individuals like bill nye and neil degrasse tyson which have to they have to force it on you it's like they have to literally call you crazy it's like if you don't believe this something's wrong with you like we're not really saying that because we know people who are speaking in reference to not a globe um saying look man like this is all this all these years these these systems have been designed to manipulate your 
experience so they can benefit off of your ignorance, so they can benefit off of your um, lack of um, internal power because you've locked into their fear and animalistic mentality, their animalistic control grid based upon the military industrial complex, the fear, prison industrial complex, fear, war, destruction, destruction of nature, destruction of your relationship to the soul, your spirit, um, your higher mind, your intellectual mind, your discernment, everything. It's just been completely demolished on so many levels. And that's exactly where the system needs people to be. And the extension of that is like this Bill Nye sex junk garbage that is out there. Because now they can just, you know, manipulate people to move wherever they want to. Because there's going to be so many people who don't want to be a part of that that nonsense that is just to refer, like to refer to your reproductive process as sex junk alone is 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 also is it's just a telling sort of um, key right there it's like you know where these people are coming from they're trying to um, literally de-evolve you into this animalistic you're you're basically just a monkey and as long as they believe in this evolution program from the heliocentric model, gravity law, the theory of relativity, and Darwinian sort of um, engagement in this reality, you are a monkey. That's what the mainstream reality is based upon. They are entertaining monkeys, psychological monkeys, if you believe in what they're telling you. The university system is a university system for evolved monkeys. There's no humanity there. It's designed for monkeys. Neil deGrasse Tyson, Bill Nye, Michio Kaku firmly believe that they are monkeys. It is, it is the anti-human experience when you buy into that program. That is the synthetic universe. That is the heliocentric program. Selling you a monkey evolution soap opera. So that's pretty much all I had for this video. And um, yeah, so until next time, from all my relations, peace, love, and harmony.